Okay, be honest. Hey, I'm Danny Irizarry, and the other day at work, I had a really interesting revelation. It had been a bad day. It was long. I wanted to go home. I had just gotten some interesting news from a friend. Um, and I found myself just kind of going through my tasks without really thinking about what I was doing. I was sort of out of it. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, um, I said out loud to myself, ah, I'm just tired. And that took me by surprise because first of all, I didn't mean to say it out loud. Um, I just did. And secondly, it surprised me because that's usually my response when somebody asks me, how are you doing? Or what's wrong? And I just don't really want to explain to them all the stuff that's going on. Um, and I said it to myself, as if I were trying to fool myself. Um, and it gave me a little jolt, and it made me think about three things. It made me think about the importance of honesty, uh, the importance of trustworthiness, and the importance and the power of words. Um, the fact of the matter is, I wasn't tired. I was angry. I was frustrated. and. I said it to myself as if I were trying to fool myself into thinking that I was just tired. Um, and if I can't be honest with myself in a private moment like that with my own emotions, how am I supposed to honestly explore a character and understand the emotions that they're going through, that that person's going through? And then how am I supposed to objectively review my work and look at the art that I've created and learn from it if I can't be honest with myself in a private moment? Also if I can't be honest with myself. How can I be honest with my friends? And how can they trust that when I give them advice, it's the best advice that I have? And that when I give them a compliment, it's a genuine compliment. If they can't trust that I'm being honest with them, then they can't help me if I'm not telling them everything that I'm going through. And that takes away from the, the, the value of the things that you say to your friends, your coworkers, your collaborators. Thirdly, Words are really, really powerful. And if nothing else, hear this. Mental health is so, 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 so important. And we have the ability to take our perception of our situation into our own hands and speak it back to ourselves. It's so helpful just to take a moment by yourself and talk to yourself about how you're feeling out loud. Say say things that you're feeling, talk about what's going on, and talk about the truth of the situation too. I'm frustrated that my friend stole my red pencil as a, as a scenario. But you take that time by yourself and you go, I'm frustrated that my friend stole my red pencil, but honestly, it's just a red pencil and I can buy another one. And it is frustrating and I wish that they hadn't done that, but it's okay. And as soon as you take the power away from the situation and bring it into your own hands, you're going to start finding, finding yourself happier in those situations just because you're dealing with the reality of what's going on. Um, so if you can do that by yourself, go away and talk to yourself about what's happening. Or if you have the opportunity to talk to a therapist, that's going to be so, 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 so helpful. So I'm really glad that I had that jolt to make me think about how important it is to be honest with ourselves and with others, how important it is to be trustworthy, and how powerful words really are. If you have any questions, suggestions, or corrections, please leave me a comment and let's talk about it. Thanks for hanging with me. Let's figure this out together. Ah, that felt pretty good.